Mr. Popsit here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live and Mr. Popsit Fishing. Two other channels. It helps the whole brand grow. I appreciate the support. Thanks for popping by. Okay guys, Mr. Popsit here. This is another common occurrence. You can see we have a pretty large facial abscess. Could be a cyst that got inflamed and it could be an acne nodule that just got out of control and started going into other pores around it and which makes a, a, a regional abscess like that. She does have a history under here of possibly a cyst, some scar tissue and something like this happening before. I never saw her before, it was somewhere else. So I do feel a fluid pocket. It could be a little, could be a moderate amount, but we're gonna get her numbed up and kind of prepped and ready and then do a little IND incision and drainage with an 11 blade and see what we get out. The main thing when we're at this point is getting that fluid inflammation and if there's any cyst particles out of there. And the bottom's gonna be mushy. It's hard to get that anesthetized. So we get the pressure relieved, let it heal with some anti-inflammatories and then we readdress to see if there is a cyst or something we can do surgically in the future. But you can see when I push, there may be a punctum right here in the middle possible. It's hard to see because it's really small, but we're gonna get her feeling better very quickly and she'll sleep better tonight. Okay guys, we have her, you can see anesthetized, cleaned up here, a possible pour there or up there, right in the center is where this is at. It's gonna be a poke, you'll feel pressure, you okay? Mm -hmm. Good. There we go, that was mostly lidocaine. fluid. I'm going to be pushing. Let me know if you have a lot of pain. Okay. That almost looks like a cyst particle there. Instantly going down though, which is good. You have a high pain tolerance? You don't seem... Yeah. <laughs> I, I can tell. I can actually tell from when I injected you. Mm -hmm. When you deal in pain, you can really see who uh, who can deal with it and who can't, <laughs> that's for sure. Kind of instantly, that's good. So you had a lot of fluid in there. I don't see a lot of cyst particles. You can turn back towards me just a little, yeah, just like that. Yeah, there's a little couple pockets, but it's not super deep. It was mostly on the surface. And on the face, I always try to make a very small cut, just two to three millimeters there. Let me know if it's too much because we're getting towards the bottom. You can see that's a good example right here. That's the mush that's at the bottom. It's just kind of this red mushy tissue. And a lot of people are like, why don't you get a curette and start digging around in there? You're not going to get what you want. <laughs> All it will do is hurt. It's not going to get any if there was cyst material. There we go. That's that kind of junk. It's at the bottom right there. So that's a perfect, this is a gelatinous mass that the tissue becomes. If that was in there long enough, the inflammation will also start to thin the surface of the skin and start to break that down. And then it will make its way through. It'll find a way out. But that gets more and more painful as that happens until it kind of breaks through. So that's why it is good to, to do this little IND before she gets to that point. And you can see that's just tissue. I don't really see much cyst wall in there, but we'll see. When we put a brush pressure bandage on here and we check back in just two weeks. Now she did find us on YouTube, so you doing okay there? Mm -hmm. Okay. You didn't have any trauma or anything where you fell or anything like that, right? No. No car accident, nothing like that? No. Good. Good. Yeah, that is the bottom. Once we start getting blood and there's not much more coming out, we can do just a little saline. Um, mm -hmm. Just regular saline in a 3cc syringe. I'm just going to do a light flush to see if there's any loose, or loose particles or anything in there. You're gonna feel so much better. And no pain right now, are you okay? Just a little discomfort or? Yeah, 
I know you do live kind of far away, so if you can make it in two weeks, if it's way better, you know, we don't have to do follow-up, but if you can make it and it's just so I can see once I feel if something starts to reform, I can kind of tell a lot better as the inflammation goes down. But that just seems, it's, I can feel it's just kind of mushy at the bottom yeah. and that pocket that was in there. Good. Yeah, I'm just gonna flush a little bit with saline. Then we're gonna put a pressure bandage. We don't put a stitch in there because we want her to drain out and if there's any additional fluid. I do have a very low um, strength steroid as well. I'm gonna put a tiny bit just in the base. Okay. Um, it'll just speed up this going down. I know you had an injection not too long ago. Mm -hmm. um, so we did get a little bit. You can see that might be a little cis particle right there. <laughs> we'll get that wiped off in a sec. So this a lot of times will squirt back out. So I just put gauze underneath here. A little flush. You can see we get pink fluid out. Okay. And we got like a little clot there out. That was it. One more little flush. Okay. We expect pink fluid. Okay, she did great. We are gonna put on a little pressure bandage and if she can, we'll see her back in two weeks. Um, we did a flush on there, this little pressure bandage along with an anti inflammatory Okay, so this is just a very mild Kenalog right down into the middle there. Just a couple, 0.2 cc. That'll help bring that down even quicker. Okay, you can come up here. So we just did a simple IND that is the treatment for this. You can't do an excision obviously because you just can't scrape out all the mush. That's gonna bring it down, a little saline flush, a little injection, a pressure bandage. It will close in three to four days and we want some leakage there until that stops. Everything else that she's on should help it dry up and then we'll do a reevaluation in just a couple weeks. I'm glad she found us because she actually did go a couple places. People do have different um, kind of takes on these of how they treat them. And I will say, I'm extremely busy today. I have a ton of patients up, but that's the correct treatment. Sometimes when people are busy, they say, oh, here's a shot, here is an antibiotic. I've seen enough of these to know when you don't do that, four days later, they're calling you back or five days later, it just got worse, it just got worse. This is what needs to happen. So it doesn't take a real long time. I always put time aside to get that done because I can catch up on other patients that have eczema or whatever, but she's gonna be a lot better off this week because of that. So thanks for popping by. Thanks to her for sharing so people can learn. She actually saw the one right by the eye I did on a young man six to nine months ago and she saw the follow-up a week or two later that healed excellent and that's what brought her all the way over here quite far from her home so i appreciate that's why we do them to educate and uh, hopefully other people find this video helpful that are providers so they can make sure to help people all right thanks for popping by